Hello from Cold Aid. Today we want to give you some tips on making your door reinsulation thin and effective. For your marine refrigeration system to work most effectively, you ideally want your compartment to be well insulated. Sometimes we forget it's also really important to have good insulation on the door of your refrigerator or freezer compartment. After a few years, your insulation can lose its R value. This is poured in foam insulation that's about 30 years old. It's deteriorated and probably has been for many years. If your insulation is crumbly like this, it's time to replace it because it's not working for you anymore. The first thing to do when you start re-insulating your door is to remove it from the box or counter. We suggest putting strips of masking tape over the entire lid top so that when you turn it upside down and start working, you've protected it from getting scratched. If you're working on a refrigerator compartment, you know it's ideal to have about R30 insulation in the box itself and about R20 in the door. A door usually needs to be thinner and adding insulation increases depth. For R20, it's just fine. If you're working on a freezer compartment, ideally you want R40 in the box and R30 in the door. So, with your door lid upside down, carefully cut off the insulation compartment enclosure. We used an electric cutoff saw. Sometimes there's screws or nails you'll need to cut through, so use a blade that's good for steel or wood. This is what was in our freezer door. As you can see, it's not very thick. New, it probably delivered only R10 insulation value. We wanted to have R30. So, to get this in a relatively thin space of the door lid enclosure, we used Aerogel. This is what it looks like. It comes in sheets. It delivers R10 per square inch of depth. So, we built our new enclosure to attach to the old door lid. We cut out four sides of thin particle board and used a quick set epoxy to glue them slowly and carefully piece by piece to the lid, making sure it was level and square to fit the opening. Because our lid has rounded corners, we used pine quarter round moldings for the corners. Now, Aerogel is hydrophobic. It doesn't absorb moisture, but to be really sure nothing inside the door lid could get moldy, we taped in 6 mil poly vapor barrier using vapor barrier tape. Then we cut and layered in the Aerogel sheets to fit the enclosure, which gave us a thickness of about 3 inches or R30 insulation value. We used particle board to make the bottom of the door lid, epoxied it all the way around, sanded it, and gave it two coats of semi-gloss latex paint. It was ready for installation. Now, it looks great, and it really insulates well. I hope you have good luck with yours.